How you doing guys? It's Mike here again with another song for you. I'm going to try to show you Michigan from the Milk Carton Kids. Uh, I've been listening to these guys for the last couple of years and, and honestly just consistently blown away that the harmonies, the like, beautiful harmonies, the, the songwriting, the guitar playing that gets played over. I don't know how he plays these guitar licks and sings at the same time so nice but um so tight and so so good but um this this is my uh this is my interpretation of of michigan one of my one of my favorite songs by them for sure um what was i going to say there yeah so three three videos we'll do it we'll do it in three parts so the the first one's going to be the instrumental the second one the chords and the structure. So what what chords they're making sound more lush and uh, things like that. Um, and then the third is just going to be a play along. So it'll be, I'll just try my best to play it from start to finish, and I'll have a chord chart um, with with the video, so you can play along to it start to finish. So the instrumental. Let's 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 get going with that. Um, well, before we even do that, I'm capoed four. I'm in standard tuning, capo four. I noticed in some versions, in the original recording, I, I believe it's actually capo 3. So I'm actually going from the, if you look on YouTube, it's the them on Aust, Austin City Limits, and it's capo 4. And um, what what he's doing, like, it's this G major scale um, formation. So maybe I'll pop that up on the screen here. That's just something that it, it might be helpful to, to realize what they're doing. It's, it's G major scale. It's that boring scale you're always taught to oh, practice, practice the scale. Um, and I, I've definitely learned a lot from them of how to weave in, in and out of that scale and make it sound like something, you know. Um, but anyway, this this is the scale really quickly. So it's G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp. G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp. G. I should say really quickly, is those, <laughs> I don't want to confuse anybody with because that could be kind of confusing, but with the capo, it's not really a G. I, I mean, that's just sort of a guitar thing that we do. Um, we we just kind of pretending that's G. It's actually it's actually B. But um, let's not go into that. That's um, that's gonna be maybe for another day. So so the melody right off the bat, we'll just break it down really quick. So the intro, we're gonna start on this E note, which is the two on the fourth string. So that note right there. We're gonna hammer it onto the four. Okay. And there's that little open string underneath the G, right? So we've got D guitar. Now I'm going to hit that four, zero, two. You got to hit that two again. Hammer on to four, and then you got to hit that four. Four, zero, two, two, four, four. See that hammer on? I'm going to play um, from the beginning. Now I'm going to go down to the three, which is we're going to be calling that the D, and you could use your first finger there. A little hammer on to five. You 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 could slide it. I, I just have it written as a hammer on. Give it some give it some uh, shape there. So from the beginning. So that's the first bit of the second line now. Three, you'll see a little P there. We pull off to zero. Three, zero, three. Zero, two, four, two. Mm -hmm. so what I'm doing there for the threes, I'm using my second finger. Because then when I go into this part, I can use my first, my first and my third finger. Now the next little bit, the four, two, zero. This is the middle of the second line. Four, two, zero, zero, one, two. So there's there's an example when he goes out. He goes out of the scale to kind of get some um, some spice there, right? It sounds a little bit uh, outside this scale a little bit. So from the top of that line, three, zero, three. I'm going to reach up. I'm going to keep my finger there. Let that sustain. And I'm going to reach up with my first finger to the one. One, zero, zero. 
So that whole line, the whole second line. Okay, I added a little extra note there and actually that was a zero, but um, the third line, it's, it's gonna be almost a repeat of the first line. So we'll, we'll go through this a little faster. So we've got two, four, zero. Four, zero, two, two, four, four. It's all the same as the first line. Three, three, five, five. We can add this little part. Three, two, three, zero. Timing there is really, really, really funny. Make sure you listen to that part a few times to see if you can feel where the timing is. Da, da, da. the fourth line almost like the second line but not quite so we've got this three he's gonna wrap it up he's gonna resolve it here three zero three zero two four two here's where he wraps it up four two zero zero two the clouds move and then then into the into the verse so hopefully that helps um with, with that instrumental part now again he's the kenneth there the the, the lead player He's playing all over the place. Like, I mean, he can play that, and he can he can add a little thing there sometimes, and, and go down here and land on his feet. Almost like he does a, you know, he jumps up like a diver doing a bunch of flips, and he just always can land on his feet. Um, so good imp good improviser, right? So um, that's good. Let's let's keep it at that, and we'll see you for the next video when we break down the chords and all the sections. All right, talk to you soon, guys.